Whew, all right. We are back on the Oregon Trail of Demons. What's going on, everybody? This is Mark Seas, and we are back in Black Book. So, so far, so good. We did, uh, what was this? Kusheva, oh yeah, the Kusheva village. Fought the demons there, cleared it out, saved the girl and the family. Uh, told this man no, because this man wanted to curse another lady in the neighborhood. We don't do that, okay? We're nice witches. So now we can make our way here. And we have to we have to go through each of them. So it's kind of like a, a story, which is pretty good. I kind of like that. It tells a story one by one. Hold on. Hold on, everybody. The silver glow of the moon catches glimpses of the water waters. You hear dull croaks nearby. Let's, let's, let's draw a circle, just in case. You quickly draw a circle and light the candles. A moment passes, then another one. Finally, a demon appears and pounces towards your defensive circle. I told you guys. I told you. All right, we ready. Fight. This is what you gotta do sometimes. See, they're freaks. They're freaks at night. We ain't just gonna... Actually, I don't need to do that. I'm already gonna be protected. So we can... We can hit. Uh, can we hit again? What is this? Oh! Ooh, ooh, ooh. So, in combination... Oh, it, it can't be first? Alright. We, we might as well deal as much damage as possible. That's what I want to do. Uh, the one I was going to use was the uh, combination. Like a, it's like a buff, really. So it would buff all of my attack spells by one, as long as it was the same attack spell. Ha! Protected. All right, now I'm no longer protected, so I gotta watch out. So what do I have? Uh, okay, I can bless my word. Oh, it doesn't even matter. What? Man, you, you're dead. All right, just take your death. Nah. Be gone, you evil thought. <laughs> now, what we can we get? Value of spell effect is increased by one for each other spell of the same color. That's nice. Word stays active within a spell for one turn. Uh, we'll try it. That sounds useful. So that that card will stay. What I know correct. What I know is that card will stay up in my uh, in my battle sequence. So I'll have like four cards to use instead of three for an extra turn. All right. So we're going. We're going to Camgord Woods, Pinewood, and the North Camgord Woods a Village. All right. Let's see what's going on over here. Standing amidst the black wooden figures, you hear a rustle in the trees. You read the protective spells, but out comes not a demon, a person. The old woman is dressed in old clothes. It looks like you've met a beggar. Oh, you've met a beggar. Okay. Hey, how you doing, lady? Oh, a witch. A witch. How do you know I'm a witch, first of all? Look at my clothes. It doesn't say like, oh, I'm going to like make frogs and eat your soul. I can smell your kind from a mile away. See? I, I ain't trying to say anything. That's rude. I don't have like a peculiar smell. I don't smell like I am newt. All right. I can see you're a beggar. You have one eye missing. What that? Can you spare some coins? I don't need much for a living. A person is only as good as they are charitable. Are you telling me like if I refuse her, I'm going to like make a sin or something? I mean, it's only two dollars. I got some money. So don't forget me in your prayers, ma'am. Thank you. You're a kind soul. It's dangerous to go alone, so take some herbs. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Got some herbs out of that. That's it? Okay. Hey, done, hey, done deal. I'm not complaining. There is an old forest near Colva River. The forest has a master. Each forest does. A forest has a master? Near the ooh, ooh, I like that. I like that. How the like how the camera slowly moves. That that makes me get into it. 
All right, near the forest edge, you see a white towel on the old stump. There is a bottle of the a bottle of milk and some pierogi. Give me a minute. I'm looking it up. So, pierogi means dumplings. Dumplings, I believe, in Swedish. Okay, that's that's cool. Learning with Marxies. <laughs> All right. Uh, near. If you're wondering why I keep looking over here, is because my my mic is dying, and I don't want to like have static like in my previous video. Near these gifts, there is a birch charter. Peasants from Bigichi village are asking Leshi to take care of their cattle. Let let me look up Leshi. The Leshi is a tutelary deity of the forest in Salvic mythology. What? I mean, there was a Leshi a monster hunter, and I killed that thing. And I can steal it or change the charter. Look, that that both look horrible. All right, I'm gonna leave it alone. You decided to leave the sacrifice to Leshi. Some affairs are better left as is. Okay, see, so you can actually choose to be good or bad. And I guess what that's it. Oh, oh, sins. Reflect the amount of bad deeds that you have done during your travel. Oh, okay, so if I would have stole that, my sin meter would go up? Yeah. All right. That's, that's interesting. Ravine of Penasirkaya. <laughs> I apologize. Whoever's like listening to this and is like, why is he getting all these wrong? This ravine is famous among Sheridan's herbalists. It is said that you can find a lot of good herbs there. If you are a witch, of course. Well, <laughs> let's go. You're looking at the number one witch, as far as I know. The old man stopped being a witch, right? If I remember correctly. While traveling through the woods, you stumble upon the snake nest. Baby snakes are still in the eggs. The mother snake does not seem to be around, so you got lucky. You make a small wall of stones around the nest and wait for the larger snakes to come back. The mother snake returns soon. Seeing the barrier, she fruitlessly tries to get past, but soon leaves. Yeah, I guess I'll wait for the snake. I'm already an asshole, keeping her from her young. Some time passes and the snake comes back with a bunch of grasses in its maw. The snake touches the grass, grassy mass, to the stone barrier, and the wall instantly collapses. The snake is reunited with its nest, and you quickly grab the grass before the snake hides it. The, the grass or the babies? It smells of rust and looks bleak. The only noticeable thing is the cross shape of the four leaves. How fortune, how fortune smiled upon you. You have found a break herb, a bundle of aromatic weeds that open locks and barriers. Alright, so I got a new item from keeping it from its young. That sounds horrible. Why am I a horrible person? Uh, Alright, let's, let's just go. It said something was dangerous about this spot. I don't know. I already feel bad for, like, taking young and almost stolen goods from a deity. On a high rise near Kashegvo. Kashevo Lake, you see two silhouettes. One is combing the long hair of another. There is something strange in his uneven movements, and you slowly shiver. Prayer! Black silhouettes disappear as soon as you say God's name. Ha ha! Be gone, thoughts! <laughs> That's what I just did. Oh, is that where I'm at? Is that, is that what that means? Alright, well, let's keep going. This, <laughs> this river flows through Pyloon Ridge. Someone in Polchka village told me that this river is the tears of Pilud. Pilud. I think that it's a lie. <laughs> I think it's, it's a lie, obviously. Polly wouldn't cry a river. <laughs> the shadow of an owl passes overhead. It has crossed your path, which is a bad omen, since a man's path is intertwined with his destiny. But maybe it is trying to show you something. Follow it. You choose to follow the owl, deciding to follow the object is a bad omen. What? Why? Suddenly a, a swamp is before you and you stop on its border. It is dangerous to go forward. You start on you start on your way back when you notice a devil's finger under your feet. And I'm just taking it. Fine. Devil's finger. Devil is changing his claws so that the new ones would grow. Sharper and stronger than before. Their old fingers turn to stone and have healing properties. Why would a devil's finger 
have healing property. That doesn't... Okay. To me? Doesn't make much sense because it's a it's evil. But I mean, they're fallen angels. So I guess that would make sense, right? That That's all I get. That's all I got for you. Alright, the next spot. <laughs> it is said that Chu lives here. Oh, the actual Chu guy lives here. A dangerous place, unholy, in these ravines and combs. You can easily fall down and break your legs. Why not? Let's go anyway. <laughs> Think I'm scared of a little breakage of the legs? You meet two travelers from Bigichi Village who are on their way to the fields. The three of you continue your journey together near the mouth of the chasm. One of them jokingly tries to shove you into the pit. Slap his ass, yeah! You strike the peasant with your backhand. <laughs> trying to throw me down. You look up on your traveling companions, both of them transforming into black shadow cloaked demons. <laughs> Assholes. This is why I don't travel with anybody. Oh my gosh, what is that? You got like something in your mouth. You might want to take that out before you fight me. Alright, let's go. Okay, like he's preparing. I've seen this in like Mario, in Paper Mario. He's preparing to fight. Turns remaining until he casts a spell, but once he does, he's gonna hit me for 12, so I gotta kill him fast. I'm gonna kill this guy first, though. Alright, that's it for you. That's that's it, honestly. Can I can I do this? Damn, I can't. Alright. I kinda wasted a spell just to kill this thing. So I have to kill this guy in two turns. Two turns, got you. Or else he will murder my ass. So let's hit him with this. Nava. Let's hit him with that. That's all I really got anyway. Okay, this, this is not looking good. Yeah, because he's going to do a lot of damage. Okay, if I can't kill him here, just, just, in, just in case, you know, I, I don't know. Okay, so hit him with that. And, and just like prepare to get hit, I guess. So Nava, oh, Nava again, yes. Oh, he's dead. Okay, he's dead. I'm good. I'm good. Because if he did 12, I would have. I don't know. All right. Well, that's what they get for trying to push me on an edge. Assholes. I didn't, I didn't read this one. You walk around the windmill and approach the chewed forest. Okay, so we're still in chewed forest. The darkness is grim and wraps around you. Only fir branches are whispering in the morning fog. Suddenly, there is a pack of demons flying around the windmill, throwing wooden objects around it. Why? That's some douchey stuff. Check debris. A pack of flies somewhere east with angry screams. You check the wreckage, some wooden logs and parts of a mechanism. You also find a small sack of flour and you pick up $3. That's it. Can I revisit that? I feel like the demons throwing stuff is probably important. No? I The old windmill, I guess. Oh, okay. So this is the old windmill. This is where I'm supposed to go. The windmill stands on the borders of the worlds of the worlds, the village and the forest. It is said that the miller is a witch himself, but not as strong as old Edgar. And I'm stronger than old Edgar, so you know I'm better, right? Mm, there goes the old windmill. The spruce branches, part of an old windmill. Part of an old mill stands before you. This place is filled with legends and stories from the surrounding villages. Those who have been here at dusk or worse, at night, speak of dark phantoms in the windows of the mill, of sudden gusts of the wind and other devilry. It is a place of dark energy. All right, let's look around. It's pretty cool that it goes between, ooh. Is that like actual herb herbs? No, woman, look at the herbs. Oh, nice. Okay. Nothing here? Okay. Yeah, let's go to the back. Windmill log. It's a carrier log. It's used to turn the mill. The old wood creaks in the wind. 
You can climb inside. There is a small hole in the wall. Okay, let's inspect the mill some more. The old windmill is creaking from the cold wind. It is not so often that you see these kind of mills in certain district. Okay. Nothing here. So I can climb this way. Come on. Keep going, girl. You know, there's demons afoot. Let's check the backyard. Can we check the backyard now? It is hard to see anything in the dark gloom of the night. Nevertheless, you feel your eyes are getting better at seeing in the dark. The black book may be aiding you. Amidst the thick grass, you spot an old axe, its blade covered with rust. Take the axe. An old axe that you found near the windmill. Plus one heart. Okay. I guess this is the door door. It is obvious the mill is old. Some wood has rotted through making more windows. You approach and try to open the door, but it is closed. The lock is as old as the mill. One good strike and something heavy and it will break, like the axe. All right, let's use this. As soon as you touch the lock with the break herb, it opens and falls to the ground. Damn, that herb is strong. All right, herb. I like it. Ooh, I don't like that. No, 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 no. But then again, I'm a witch. Hey, homie. You want to... Oh. I mean, I wasn't trying to go up, but... Fine. What's in here? Fine. Check this. This chest is for different tools and useful stuff. You find nothing of interest. Alright, how about the cabinet? You study the cabinet among different... current Kernkas. Among different Kernkas? Let me look up Kernka. So... Kernka is a church among different churches old pots and birch bark containers you find a sack with silver truck rubbles it may prove useful to you no it's not I'm in the mill okay let's go to the broker oh oh crap what was that oh Okay, there goes the demon. I got it. Oh, there goes Papa Demon. Here, step back, homie. Wow, yeah. If you looked like that, I would be, I would be more scared. That's a good drawing. The thirteenth brother. I expected to see a wretched old man, not a beautiful maiden. Why are you here? Who are you? I did not expect to meet a demon speaking in the common tongue. I am an apprentice witch. Who are you? Ha! Huh! Demon, you say? Oh, you see, maiden, I am not your common imp. I am known as the thirteenth brother. Okay. I am a guardian over the village, over the forest, and the secret hidden garden at its heart. I am also the guardian of this house. God, you just have multiple things, don't you? You working overtime there, sir? I... The Unseen Master at your service. What kind of name is that? The Thirteenth Brother. It is a name that has whispered through time, across the lands. You know, that comes before twelve. <laughs> Until it became my name, that is. I will tell you a story. If you want to hear it, of course, there's still time until the dawn. You know, why not? What is it? Oh, come on then, tell me. I'm a scholar of shadowed things. Of the demons of the world. Fine. It is good to meet a sorceress that does not start hurling herbs and venomous phrases before engaging in a more illustrious art of conversation. All right, all right. So right, you are interested in the story. Long time ago, I had twelve brothers. I was the thirteenth. At the time, there was a war, and we were enlisted. You might say, I served under the strongest and most divine master. He kept me alive, allowed me to survive to become the last of my brothers, the thirteenth and the final. So all these years later, fate brung me here to talk with you. All right. Well, what do you want with the windmill? Haven't you figured it out? Maybe I was wrong about you. I thought of you as a strong sorceress, master of wit and deduction, and type of intelligent one, endowed with knowledge others do not possess. I guess not. What? Okay, this is what this is one of the uh, things. 
Now, if I remember correctly, the dude said, like, I had a story in the previous one saying that he uh, gave, he sacrificed his corn and stuff like that, his food, to keep the windmill running. And whenever he didn't, he, uh, he stopped the windmill. So I'm right. You were summoned by sacrifice, by a sacrifice. You have been here since you were created, inherent with this location. You are strong indeed. And not to mention, I am bound to this weakling of a miller, but I want a good master. Take me. Take me? Oof. Whoa, hold on now. I, I think I'm still underage. Take me to serve you, and you will have your reward from the miller and the reward of my presence. Yeah, why not? I mean, it wasn't a bad story. He didn't kill people. He just said, like, feed me and I'll keep the mill running. Well, so be it. I could use a demon like you, if not just for conversation. Perhaps you are not as strong as you seem. So there has yet to appear such a sorcerer who can outmatch the 13th brother. Oh, you want to go? Oh, you want to you wanna go? Value of spells effects increase. Okay. Ooh, I think he's attacking me. Okay, well, hold on. Okay, that should block me. But I can't do Urza. I think I can do this. Okay, yeah, that'd be good. So, it says four times two. So, you're going to attack me for eight. But I have eight defense, so I'm good. Now. Stupid. Stupid. Yep. Fully blocked. Nice. Nice. All right, what are you going to do? You're going to attack again? Uh, ooh, this is not good. I do not have enough to block all of it. What is this? Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. Push this away. Do this. Oh, fine. All right, so no matter what, I'm going to get hit for three. But that's fine, though. That's fine, though. I have, like, 18 health, uh, health HP. No, dummy. God. I slapped that with magic. <laughs> What's up? What do you want? Ah. Okay, I get hit for three. Fine. Fine. That's, that's okay. God, he's doing nothing but attacking. Okay, so... I can block this one fully. And hit him. Actually, you know what? No, I'm not going to hit him with that. I'm going to put waste on him. So he'll take damage over time. Yeah, brush my brush my shirt off, but fire <laughs> and do a little bit of ah, a little dances. So I should be protected, right? Boom, protected. All right. So okay, he's getting hurt. He's gonna see. Then he's gonna do 13 protection. So I'm gonna hit. Ooh, increases each word. Can I do that? There we go. Then go back and hit him with this. I should put more rust on. I should do this. But I think I'm going to have time for that anyway. So, that's not a... Would that be better? Maybe, I don't know. And then heal myself for one. Alright. So, buff. I want the buff. And then I slap you times two. Eight. Oh, okay. And then I heal. I like it. Okay, so he has... Yes, 13th health. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I just... I gotta defend. Can I defend him? Yes. The defense is strong. And then I'll just keep poisoning So, my poison ignores the armor. So, he's just gonna get hurt here. Boom. He got hurt by four. And then I can just fully defend. What is this? Attack, seal, one random page? Oh, crap. No, I don't want that. Really? Why can I use Kila? Oh, it's the same thing. Okay, well, just heal yourself anyway. All right. Ah! Uh, now, slap! And then, slap! Woo, this thing is dying! 
13th brother, you should have brought the 12th one out. He would have been better. Okay, so he sealed one of my attacks. I don't know which one he sealed. Well, it's not these. What is he doing? Oh, he's, uh... He's draining strength again. Whoa! If this works... Oh, we're going all in, baby. Let's do it. Okay. Smack! And then I enchant my smacking. And this smack! Ah, oh, too many smacks! <laughs> Why did he die slow? <laughs> he died hella slow. Alright. Ooh, so I got a new level. Damn, experience with the teeth. I don't know why it's the teeth, but hey, that's cool. Some money and old pounder. Old pounder. Miller inherited this pounder from the witch ancestors. Oh, okay. Sweetos. You took the demon for your personal service. <laughs> Got me a demon. <laughs> he would be asking for work as any other imp would now. The mill is now without a spirit. It is not your business anymore. I got a new encyclopedia note. Nice. Nice. I like it. Oh, you know, killing demons and everything. Seems like the day is good. Some of that demon to fix my house. That's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> and then he disappeared. He won't be ruining work at the mill any longer. He just disappeared. I thought I had him under my service. So you took a sacrifice upon yourself. Hope it won't backfire. What do you mean, hope it won't backfire? Well, while you were gone, I thought about the seals. Every single piece has its meaning. Every seal needs a devil. The second one is the Aspen one. We have to think what to do next. Mm, and that's the game. That was cool. I really liked it. I really liked the choices I had to make. And it really told me about the area I was in and what people was doing. So that was that was actually really nice. It put me in the story. It made me it made me addicted to know what was going on in the story. I did skip over some because I did play the game. I did record a a, a version of this, but then the audio was garbage. Like I said, my mic is dying on me. I hope it's doing good right now like I'm looking at my OBS and it says it's doing pretty good. So, hopefully. But, other than that, this game is amazing. I really do like it. I I would recommend you guys playing it because it's really nice. Uh, I hope they do like, like choices you have to do longer. Maybe add in a couple more people with those choices. Cause I, I think that would be cool. You go and you really get involved with what's happening. So like you see a person fighting a demon or something and you go and help but you don't know which one's the real demon and you go through that whole scenario that is amazing i do like that about this game it's really cool the turn-based combat's really good i gotta really brush up on the swedish anthology obviously because i didn't know i didn't know much about the dumplings and the terminology of it i didn't know leshy was a god guardian forest deity i didn't know it was amazing. I did like it. I learned a lot. And uh, I love the game. So, man, thank you guys for making it. I'm going to stop rambling now. Thank you guys for watching the video. If you like what I'm doing, subscribe for more, man. I do these Monday through Friday, and I have more content on the way. So thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.